guys so today is going to be a little bit different than the usual videos we're not going to be trapped inside the house all day uh, we're going to be going out I've been seeing a lot of youtubers doing this over the past couple months they're doing a hundred dollar Nike versus Adidas challenge we're going to do something very very similar to that we're just going to do two separate challenges all together so today is the hundred dollar Adidas challenge I'm going to try to get an outfit from head to toe from Adidas for a hundred dollars or less we'll see what kind of fit we can put together with that I got a few other things I have to do I have to stop at my job see how everything's going there take the car to get a car wash I'm gonna take these guys along on all that stuff but I seen Kais and a couple other people try doing the hundred dollar uh, fit challenge from Adidas I know he had no luck and it turned into a three thousand dollar Louis Vuitton shopping spree that's not going to happen here today. We're going to hit the Gloucester outlets and see if we can put together a $100 fit from Adidas. That being said, let go. So we're here at the outlets. It looks like it's possibly going to rain when I was coming from Philly to Jersey. It looked like the clouds were following me. So it's still pretty nice here. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible in and out. Like I said, here are the rules. I have $100 to spend in Adidas and try to get a fit from head to toe. Shirt, pants, sneakers. So we'll see what we can do. Switching over to phone. I'll see you in a bit. So I got a little footage inside the outlets and now it's trenchly downpouring. Um, I got some footage in the Adidas store. They do really, really frown upon uh, vlogging and filming in there. So the little bit of footage I got, I'll do like a voiceover or something if it's even necessary. So I wasn't really able to, you know, get the full experience in the Adidas outlet that I wanted to get like I have done previously. There was just way too many employees in the stores. The store is pretty empty, I guess, because it's a weekday at one o'clock in the afternoon. And with the weather, not so many people are out. But I was able to get a lot of heat. I was able to get way more than I expected for my $100. I did go over by $8, but there was an additional pickup for NIASIA. So I have, you know, a, a you know, rundown of the receipt, of, you know, footage of the receipt showing you guys that everything I got, I was able to get for under $100. Truth be told, it's not really fair. They were having a crazy sale today. I was really, really surprised and happy how much stuff I was able to get for so little money. Um, but like I said, it's getting ready to pour. We're going to get back to the crib. NIASIA should be awake by now and being a functioning adult functioning member of society um Hiram and buster are probably getting into some getting into some shenanigans it never fails could be no clouds in the sky the second i put yeezys on 
to go out to do something, this happens. I've never worn my bread Yeezys and a tsunami not happen. It's starting to finally slow down. I'm waiting to go in shop right and this is what I'm dealing with. I think we're gonna make a break for it. I'm not exactly sure. All right guys, so we're back at the house. We're gonna go over these pickups from Adidas. Like I said, I spent well within my price range. It was about $97. I think my total cost was on my stuff, uh, excluding the stuff I picked up for Nate. A lot of heat over there. I will say this, I did want to go for a whole head-to-toe outfit, and I somewhat accomplished that uh, based off the purchases I got, but I didn't get anything that went together, mainly because some pieces that were on sale there and fell into the subscription went with other things I already owned and wanted these things prior, but the price was a little steep, so I waited for it to fall. So I guess in the grand scheme of things, I failed as far as getting a fit from head to toe for less than $100, but I guess I could have wear this all together. But some of the stuff isn't gonna match at all, but I guess I could try to pull it off. But here's the receipt. Grand total on everything after discounts and including IH's purchases. Let's see if I can bend this down right here. $127.40. So I definitely did what I wanted to do. So in that regard, I feel like this Adidas $100 challenge was a success. And when you see the pieces that I got, how much of a steal this stuff truly was. Let's just get her stuff out of the way. I just picked up her pair of the navy blue Adidas tights that she wears all the time. I got, she always has black. She never has any navy blue. So I picked her up a pair. Let's dive into my pickups. These sweatpants have been on my radar for some time. They are white sweatpants with the Madrid symbol right there. I don't know if you see it. Old school Adidas symbol. The Adidas symbol is in black, and then the bottoms has more of like a cream, I guess like circular, ovalish shape with the purple outline. They have the matching track jacket. I wasn't going to grab it. A white jacket. With these white pants are probably going to get destroyed, but a white jacket would just be too insane for me to even try to keep clean. A white track jacket would just be, you know, filthy in a matter of seconds. So. These were $79.99, reduced to $49.99, on sale for $39.99, and then they were 50% off today. All red tag clearance items were additional 50% off. So I was able to really pull out some stops here and, and you know and get stuff I really truly you know been been keeping my eye on. The second pickup is a Chelsea jersey. I've been keeping my eye on this. The soccer jerseys were on sale last week. They did not have my size. Last week they were 30. Today they were 45, but then the 15% off. The jersey came to, oh my, the jersey was 33.98 with an additional $6 off. So again, this fell into $27 for this Chelsea jersey. They didn't have any extra larges last week. They had it today. Had to grab a big fan of soccer jerseys, especially in the summer. I've been monitoring this next item for some time. It is the Adidas track jacket that goes with the pants. Probably like three or four vlogs back I had them in there. Again, this jacket originally started off at, yeah, so it was originally $79.99, discount to $49.99, discount to $22.95, and then this was 50% 50, 50 off. So $15 for this jacket that once was $80. You can't beat these steals. So I feel like I kind of got over on the, the challenge a little bit because they were having such a crazy sale on items that I have been keeping my eye on. And I promise this was not pre-planned. Like, I, I just decided today... Yo, I'm going to go over to Adidas Outlet. I'm going to do the $100 challenge. I seen the Kais try doing it a few days ago, and that ended up turning into a $3,000 Louis Vuitton shopping spree. So, you know, I ain't built like that. I ain't built like Kais, so I was not going to turn this into that. So I made sure that I stay true to the uh, $100 price point for Adidas. Now, this next pickup, again, this is the sneakers. I've been closely monitoring, not here, on different shoe sites. And they are a pair of Adidas Gazelles. They're not your regular Gazelle though, they're the Gazelle Super. And this is the reason why I don't have the regular Gazelle in this colorway, because I wanted this one. I was just hoping to eventually catch these sneakers on sale. Sure enough, I did. They were $49.99 with the 50% off. Let's take a glimpse at these Warlocks. They are the Adidas Gazelle Super in that cherry red colorway that I love so much. The suede on these is phenomenal too. Adidas Gazelle has one of the best quality suede's I think out there, especially for the price you get these at. Straight fire. I could probably pull these 
with the Chelsea jersey because the Chelsea jersey has that little red Yokohama tire symbol. Other than that, the rest of this outfit couldn't go together. I could probably I could pull off the jacket with the pants. Yeah, jacket with the pants, jersey with the shoes. So I guess I was able to finish somewhat of two outfits out of this. I love that the bottom is like a chalk white, like an off white. It's not the regular white. Seems one last look at the gazelles before I get out of here. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I'll be back later this week with some more pickups, some more sneaker reviews, and I'm going to be doing. I'll just keep out a secret. Some surprises coming your way, guys. But until next time, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace. Richie Ruckus, baby.